Hey folks, this is Kalani. Patch 9.2 brings a lot of new content with a lot of shiny rewards, but some of them are locked behind the new rep grind. You'll need to earn favour with the enlightened brokers to get your hands on some of the more interesting items available in 9.2, like the double legendary rune carver memory and various new crafting recipes. So we're going to go through everything you can do to farm reputation fast in patch 9.2 for the enlightened brokers. Before we jump in, be sure to hit up that like button and subscribe so you never miss another video. Let's start by looking at why you might want to farm rep with the Enlightened Brokers. They have a whole bunch of rewards with a pretty wide scope, so almost no matter what kind of player you are, you're going to get something useful from this new faction. The big one that a lot of players are going after is the double legendary memory for the rune carver. This isn't the only way to get your double legendary in 9.2, but it is the only thing that allows you to craft your own second legendary and craft it on any slot you want with any stats you want. Without this memory, the only second legendary you can equip is a belt, and not everyone wants a belt. So this memory is a huge reward to go after, and that one becomes available when you reach revered reputation. Another very important set of rewards are the new crafting recipes. You can get two new crafters marks, one to craft item level 233 gear and one to craft item level 262 gear, as well as the new legendary upgrade recipe, the Vestige of the Eternals. That one is required to upgrade legendary items up to rank 7 and item level 291, so it's going to be very important for all the crafters out there. All of these recipes unlock at Honored. An interesting bonus item here is very easy to obtain, you only need to get to Friendly. The font of Ephemeral Power will unlock every conduit for your class and upgrade them to item level 226. This is fantastic for alts or players who need to catch up, and it's a great easy source for those pesky Covenant conduits that never seem to drop. If that sounds handy, there's actually another one available at Revered that learns all conduits and upgrades them to 239, giving you an extra little bump for conduit item level. Sadly, they are not account-wide though, which makes them significantly less useful for alts. There's also the Infinite Augment Rune, not quite as impactful as the others, it's also pretty expensive, but it has the potential to save you a lot of gold if you buy and use Augment Runes for raiding or dungeons. That one is unlocked at Exalted, so you're in for the long haul if you want the Infinite Rune. And then there are also plenty of cosmetic rewards like toys, glyphs, a tabard, and mounts. So now that we've talked about why you want to farm this rep, let's talk about how we can get there. The first thing you want to do is work through the story quests. The main campaign storylines for the new patch introduce various new systems and activities, and they also reward you with a large chunk of reputation. So not only do you need to complete them to even start farming your rep properly, but they also give you a big kickstart, so they're always worth doing. In the first week, completing all of the main storylines available to us should award you with 2,000 100 reputation for the enlightened brokers after that each week that goes by will unlock new chapters of the story and you can expect to get about 500 reputation per week from main story quests alone so be sure to keep up to date with the campaign as the weeks roll by there are also various side quests available in the xerath mortis zone if you see an exclamation mark on your map go ahead and work through those storylines as well you'll want to do them for other reasons they're needed to unlock flying you get some nice rewards and of course they'll give you some reputation as well you can expect a few hundred reputation points for each side quest chain you complete, so they're also definitely worth doing. As for repeatable content, the most important thing to get done as far as rep rewards go is the sort of weekly quest, patterns within patterns. I say sort of weekly because while these quests typically are once per week, this one seems to respawn every three days or so. That means you can do it at least twice per week every week, but sometimes you'll also be able to complete it three times per week. It's one of those weird ones where you're going to have to pay a bit of extra attention if you want to maximize your rep gains, so check back for this big quest every time you log in. You can pick this up from Bolvar in Haven, so be sure to do that before you head out into the zone for the day. The next most important thing to get done would be the world quests on your map. Every world quest you complete will earn you 125 reputation and give some good progress towards completing the Patterns Within Patterns bi-weekly quest. You're going to start out with two world quests to complete per day, so it's definitely not going to take you very long, but they are definitely worth doing. Now there is a talent or trait point in the Cypher of the First One system which will unlock an additional world quest, so when you've researched Keikiel Understanding, you'll have three world quests to do per day which will increase your overall daily rep gains. Then we come to daily quests, they're basically the same thing as world quests except you have to go pick them up and you have to hand them in and they give you less rep, so they're generally going to take longer and reward less, so if you have to choose between world quests and daily quests, get the world quests done first. Obviously 
Obviously, if you want to max rep gains, you'll need to do both every single day. A daily quest will reward you with 75 reputation, and there should be two to pick up and complete every day. As with the world quests, there is a point in the cipher system that unlocks a third daily quest, so after you research Altonian understanding, you have another daily to knock out each day. But that also means more rep. If you really want to min-max your rep gains, you should research both Kekiel and Altonian understanding as quickly as you can. When the world boss becomes available in Xerath Mortis, killing them will not only give you a chance at some really shiny loot and a lot of currency rewards, but you will also earn 500 reputation for the Enlightened Brokers, and you can do this once per week. So killing the world boss every week will definitely be worthwhile. Those are the big chunks of rep you can work on every week. The bi-weekly quest, the daily quest, the world quests, and the world boss. Get those done and you'll be chugging along quite nicely in terms of reputation gains. There is also a contract that you can pick up for the Enlightened Brokers that will give you 10 reputation whenever you complete a world quest in Shadowlands. If you're still doing world quests in other zones for other reasons, this could be great, but if your sole purpose here is to gain extra rep from any source possible, this is an option, but I don't really think it's an efficient option. It's completely up to you though. Bear in mind that you do need to be friendly with the faction to use the contract, and you have to be revered to learn the recipe to craft the contract, so these will not be available until at least some players can reach revered and learn that recipe. So they might end up being useful later on for some extra little rep gains. Now if you want to go one step further, and you have a lot of time, you can also hunt down rare monsters in Xerath Mortis. Every single rare in the zone will give you either 10 reputation or 15 reputation when you kill it once per day. The 15 rep rares are over in the Endless Sands. They're typically harder to kill, so be sure to call them out in general chat to get some extra help. There are 29 rares total that we know of in Xerath Mortis, so if you manage to kill all of them, you'll be a few hundred rep ahead of anyone who doesn't kill any. If you absolutely have to get to honoured or revered or exalted as quickly as possible, killing every rare every single day will get you there faster. Something else to watch your minimap for are treasures. This is a little hit or miss because some treasures are incredible for rep because they contain actual rep items which can be very useful, but they are definitely the minority. Most treasures do not directly contribute to your reputation gains in Xerath Mortis, but they're going to give you more ciphers to unlock those points that do contribute to rep gains, and they're also going to contribute towards your patterns within patterns quest bar, which is definitely something you want to finish as often as possible. So be sure to loot all of the treasures you see, even if they don't immediately grant your reputation, they're going to be useful in the long run. If you are super keen on hunting down every rare and treasure that exists in the zone, I would recommend you download the add-ons Handy Notes and Handy Notes Shadowlands. You do need both of them for this to work, but with those add-ons you'll have markers on your map and mini-map for every location of every spawn, every treasure, and you can just go to town. You can play dot to dot and gather absolutely everything you need. Now with most of the good rewards from this faction being locked behind Honored and Revered, I figured it's important to know how long that could take to achieve. Obviously, the the more you do, the faster you'll get your reputation goals. If you complete all of the world quests, all of the daily quests, all of the story quests, and do the bi-weekly quest as often as possible, it would take you about 11 days to make it to Honored, 29 days to get to Revered, and 64 days to get up to Exalted. So it's definitely a, a bit of a long haul rep grind, especially for the exalted rewards. These numbers do not take any rare kills into account, so the more rares you kill, the faster you'll reach your goals. It's worth noting that if your main goal with rep farming is the double legendary memory for the rune carver, that also requires you to complete chapter 7 of the story campaign in 9.2. Even if you don't kill any rares, you should hit revered with the enlightened brokers just from story quests, daily quests, world quests, and bi-weekly quests before chapter 7 of the storyline, which means you don't have to stress about the extra rare killing if you just want the double legendary effect as quickly as possible. But that's everything you can do to earn reputation with the new Enlightened Broker Faction, how long it should take, and how to work towards all of these wonderful rewards. Which reward are you going for specifically? The double legendary memory, the infinite augment rune, or maybe the new crafting recipes? Leave all your thoughts in the comment section below. A big thank you to all of our supporters over on Patreon, and to everyone who subscribed on Twitch. You can see the the names floating by on screen. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you never miss another video. Thanks for watching folks, good luck and have fun, and as always I will see you next time.